Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So securing your business goes beyond just having surveillance cameras. In today's digital landscape, it is crucial to ensure that these cameras are not vulnerable point in your network. So join us in this video as we unveil the power of isolating civilian cameras on a separate network using VLANs and managed switches. So in the modern enterprise, the importance of robust security cannot be overstated. Safeguarding sensitive data, protecting assets, and ensuring operational continuity are the pillars of a resilient business ecosystem. However, the spotlights of security innovation now turn to a critical facet, isolating civilian cameras for enhanced protection. So why does isolation matter? Having a civilian cameras on the same network as other business devices poses potential risk, and isolation becomes the sentinel, standing guard against this risk and fortifying the integrity of civilian system. So VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Networks, our sophisticated networking concept that divides a physical network into multiple logical segments, allowing diverse groups of devices to communicate as they were on physically separate network. And this technology operates at the data link layer, assigning VLAN tag to network frames for seamless organization. And there are many benefits of VLANs. Network segmentation enhances efficiency by isolating broadcast domain, minimizing traffic congestion, and optimizing performance. Moreover, VLAN bolsters security by confining broadcast domain and controlling assets, throttling unauthorized entry into specific segment. So in conclusion, VLANs are the architect of network flexibility, scalability, and security, reshaping the landscape of connectivity with their virtual prowess. So managed switches are intelligent networking devices play a pivotal role in steering the course of network security, offering administrator fine-tuned control over data traffic, user access, and network configuration. With the ability to actively manage and monitor network activity, managed manage switches serve as a guardian, fortifying against unauthorized access and potential security breaches. Moreover, their powers extend to the realm of VLAN, where they act as architect, enabling the segmentation of network into isolated, logically defined segments for enhanced efficiency and security. Next, I'm going to introduce you to some of our managed switches. This one right here is our 8-port Alto Plus PoE managed switch with 2 gigabit SFP. It is ideal for enterprise network to build a secure PoE system with central management on power and data to supply various IP devices. And it's compliant with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide 30 watts maximum output power. And the one beneath it is our 16-port, 90 watts managed PoE switch with 4 SFP. It can be utilized for any application that requires accurate control, high-level security for data switching, as well as real-time data monitoring from remote end. And it can provide effective management and convenient maintenance for PoE network system using easy installation. Also provide up to 90 watts maximum output power since it's compliant with IEEE A02.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Last but not least, we have our 24-port Manage PoE Fiber Switch. It equipped with 24 PoE 1000 megabit per second RJ45 port and 2 gigabit SFP port that can provide flexible high-speed fiber connectivity for extended Ethernet. And also compliant with the IEEE A02.3 AF and AT standard. And the switch can supply up to 30 watts power per port and automatically detect PoE devices. And your network is safe with this switch. It also offers MAC address filtering and VLAN capabilities, so you can segregate network. 
So now we're in front of the demonstration board. And we're going to connect our PDZ camera, a bullet camera and a dome-shaped camera using our high power managed PoE switch. So let's do the connection together. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router with the NVR. And then I'm going to connect our router to our switch here. Next, I'm going to use three Ethernet cable to plug it into our switch. Coming over here, we have the bullet camera. The, the PDZ camera, the bullet camera, and our dome-shaped camera. Connect them to our Ethernet cable. So as you can see, they're both getting power and data at the same time. And over there in the monitor, you can see the live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see they're all live video. And now I'm going to get a computer and show you how to segregate them using VLANs. I already got the computer, so now let's connect it with our switch plugging into the console port. And let's do it step by step. So this is our web interface. First, we plug in the username and the password, and then we sign in. After we get in, just go to the VLAN configuration. Under it, create the VLAN ID. Let me move over so you can see. Let's create the first VLAN group and name it 22. This is 22. Make sure you choose universal VLAN. The second one, I'm going to name it 66. Create the second one. Today, we're going to create three VLAN group. So apply it. The third one, I'm going to name it 10. So here we have VLAN 10 group apply. So we have three VLAN groups. Go to assign port for VLAN. For group number 10, I'm going to assign port number 10. So applied it. For group 22, I'm going to assign port number 2. Hit apply. Last but not least, 66 port number six. So now we are done setting the VLAN. So in the quest for 45 security, the blueprint of an ideal network architecture unfolds, particularly when isolating civilian camera takes center stage. The cross lies in the deliberate separation of camera VLAN from other business VLAN, a strategic move that barriers against potential vulnerability. And this meticulous design ensures that civilian system operates within a dedicated virtual fortress and preventing unauthorized access and any attempt to compromise the integrity of sensitive visual data. An isolating civilian camera is a strategic move act as a potent shield against security threat, erecting barriers that mitigate the risk of unauthorized access and potential breaches. Simultaneously, the separation safeguards sensitive business data, ensuring that the confidentiality of critical information remain intact. And beyond security, this isolation guarantees uninterrupted camera operation, shielding the civilian's ecosystem from network congestion or disruption that could compromise its effectiveness. Navigating the path to camera isolation can pose challenges, and it is crucial to address them proactively. Potential hurdles that may include configuration complexities and compatibility issues. However, troubleshooting tips come to the rescue by meticulous configuration reveal, regular updates, and collaboration with IT experts. Now you can swiftly resolve any issues. So in conclusion, camera isolations can simplify network management, enhance security, and ensure the integrity of civilian data.
So that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel for more details. And I'll see you in the next video.